Hi, my name is Dr. Rute and I'm a medical doctor. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is a really important video and I'm so glad that you're joining us today. We're going to talk about the cervical cancer screening program. More specifically, what is it? Why do we recommend that women go for it? And I want to go through step by step what you can expect when you go for your first cervical cancer smear test. I know that it is a very intimate examination, but I also know that it's a very important examination. And so I just wanna show you some of the equipment that we use, and I hope that that can alleviate some of the fear, because I know that sometimes the fear of the unknown might be the reason why you might not wanna go for your smear test. So, what is the screening program? The screening program has been designed to help detect those women who are at risk of developing cervical cancer. So it's not specifically to say this person has cancer or not, but it is there to screen to say who is at risk. And if you're at risk, it depends on what level of risk and then it will decide where you go, whether you need treatment, whether you need to go back into the program and get screened again another year, things like that. So why do we do it? We do it because a lot of women die from cervical cancer every year. Globally, approximately 320,000 women die every year. Cervical cancer is one of the few cancers where there's so much that we can do as individuals to try and reduce that risk. It is also one of the few cancers which can be successfully treated if it is detected early and managed effectively. Here in the UK, we invite women from the ages of 25 to 64 to be part of the cervical cancer screening program to have a smear test. So you might receive a letter when you're 24 and a half so that you could fall nicely into the screening program from the age of 25. From the ages of 25 to 49, you will be invited every three years to have a smear test, providing that your previous smear was normal. And then from the age of 50 to 64, you will be invited every five years, providing that your results are normal. If you're 65 and above and you've never had a smear test, you can request to have one. Or if you're 65 and above and you didn't have one, you know, from the time you were 50, you can also request to have one done. So what can you expect when you go for your first smear test? So first thing I would say is if you can, take a relative or a friend with you. I know in the times of COVID, you might not be allowed to bring somebody in the examination room, but some institutions might allow you, but at least even if somebody's waiting in the car park, it might ease your anxiety and having somebody there does go a long way. So at least somebody that you can talk to after, somebody that you can talk to on your way there as well. So once you enter the examination room, the healthcare provider will introduce themselves. Then they'll ask you your details, such as your name, your date of birth, your address, just to confirm that they've got the right person. Then most importantly, they will get your consent. So they'll ask you, are you happy to continue and have a smear test today? Then you can say yes and you proceed. Or you are allowed to say no so even though you've gone in and you've you know and you go into that room at any point you can say no you're too anxious or for whatever reason you're just like I don't want to go through with it you can say no and then try another time let's say you've said yes so they'll ask you to lie on the couch so you lie on the back but before that we'll ask you to take everything off from your waist downwards including your undergarment so then we'll give you a sheet to sort of cover yourself with. So you will lie back and the bed won't be completely flat. It will be at an angle, then you can lie back. And what we'll do is we'll ask you to bend your knees. So bend your knees and put your feet together. So your feet will be like this and then you'll bend your knees so they'll be a bit together as well. Then we'll also ask you to move your feet together as far back as possible towards you. So towards your bottom, so they get closer to you. And then what we'll then ask you to do is to let your knees fall apart. So then you'll be in a position where it will be easy for the healthcare professional to examine you. And then what we'll do next is we'll use an instrument called a speculum. So it looks something like this. So this is a plastic speculum. This is a medium sized one. So you can have a smaller speculum used and you can have a larger speculum used. So this is how it looks like. Not all of it goes into the vagina. So I'll show you in a bit. So it closes like this, it's a little bit like a beak and we hold it like this. 
okay so the healthcare professional will ask you if you have any allergies and they will use um, a gel a lubricating gel to make it easy for it to go in the vagina once you're in that position the healthcare professional will shine a light so that they can see much easier and then they'll ask you are you happy to continue and then they'll get closer and what they'll do is as you so they'll get closer so one hand will be here and then they'll use the other hand to sort of separate the lips or the labia so they can look at the vagina and insert it into the vagina so let's say this is the vagina and there's loads of gel so what you can do at this time is just take deep breaths in and out the vagina is a muscle so if you're tense if you're not relaxed it tenses up and can make the examination more uncomfortable for you but the more relaxed you are the easier it can be for you i know it's easier said than done but the things that you could do to relax yourself is maybe distracting yourself or you know counting backwards or taking deep breaths in you can take um music if you want where you can listen to something whilst the examination is going through whatever you prefer so let's say this is the vagina and it will go in like this so you will feel it going into the vagina but it won't be painful it will be uncomfortable if it's too painful and you just want them to stop you can tell them stop either they can just stop and wait until you get you know you catch catch your breath take a few deep breaths or you can say stop and you know or you can ask them to remove it and you can st stop the examination altogether so let's say you're continuing with the examination you go through and then we'll sort of twist it a little bit this shouldn't hurt it just it made it a bit easier for it to go in that way we'll twist it a little bit um and then what will happen is now this part is where you might feel a bit of stretching of the vagina again it's uncomfortable but shouldn't be painful so then we just open this up so that we can see the cervix right here and then we seal it like that so let's say that's how it is and then that holds it in place then we'll take a little brush um, and the brush it will have really soft bristles at the top of what we'll do is we'll insert it through and we, because we can see the cervix and we'll just um, rotate it one way rotate it another way just trying to get some samples and then take it off Put it in the specimen pot and then just untie this close it back twist it out and that's it that's the examination done and you know we'll leave you to get dressed i know i demonstrated that without gloves but they will be wearing gloves during the examination and you should get your results within two to three weeks and that will tell you when you will be called for your next smear i hope by that small demonstration it's given you a little bit of an idea of what you can expect um, and i hope that you'll be encouraged to go and book for your smear test whether it is your first smear or your due another smear test please go and book for your smear test because it can save your life thank you so much for watching this video if you've learned a thing or two please give it a thumbs up and please share this video share it to your friends your family you can just put it on your whatsapp status you can put it on your facebook status just encourage others to go and have their smear test.